Who's that? Who was that that um, seconded? Todd. Okay. But is there anybody else has any interest in being chair or any other nominees? Okay, hearing none, uh, then we'll vote. All those in favor of Jeff Gorbel being the chair, say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, hearing none, uh, then I guess I'm elected chair. Next, we need somebody to serve as co-chair. So in case I'm not available um, for a, a, any of the meetings and somebody else can run the meeting. Anybody interested in being co-chair? Well, I guess I would suggest um, uh, David or Dana, the two of you want to virtually fight it out on Zoom and pick one. I guess David was the was the first one to I'll, point. I'll nominate David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Thanks, so David. Dana has nominated <laughs> David or Dana has nominated David Quisley as co-chair. Is there a second? Second. All right. Uh, anybody else uh, nominations for co-chair? All right, hearing nothing, we'll vote on uh, David Quisley as co-chair for the Zoning Commission. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing no opposition, then David will be co-chair. Thank you for that honor. I could help. Well, you've been on you've been on the commission for a while, so yeah, you should have it all down pat, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so the next thing that we had on our agenda. And I don't know if anybody uh, had a chance to see. Well, I guess Justin um, had a chance to see it because I, I saw a note from him. I sent an email out probably about 45 minutes ago where I set up a uh, Google Drive and I dropped some documents out there on, on Google Drive, uh, one of which is a duplicate of the, um, uh, the timeline I had sent out before. Let me see if I can figure out how to share my screen there we are I guess I'll share that one and okay you should see just kind of a blank blue screen right now yeah, we're seeing your desktop. Seeing the desktop. Still see the desktop, or do you see another screen? I'm seeing your your Excel document. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So the Excel document. Um, this is the one I sent out the other day. Um, I guess the the first thing I wanted to uh, discuss with everybody is just to verify. Um, well, I, I should back up. Does anybody have questions? I know I spoke to each of you on the phone, um, so maybe I'll just recap while we have everybody in the in the group here. What we have in front of us: the Board of Supervisors uh, passed a moratorium that expires in um, uh, June next year, June of 2020. A moratorium on construction of wind development. Um, the wind developers with the project called Worthwhile Wind, which is a, a wind project that they're looking to put in in the Northwest portion of the county, uh, actually extends into the middle part of the county um, and it bleeds over into Winnebago County. They've been 
in planning uh, for that project for a couple of years now. Uh, they said last week that they're still a couple of months away from finalizing the, um, the landowner agreements, getting everybody signed up. And it'd probably be a couple of months before they go into their design phase. They've not chosen uh, the specific sites yet. They've not even chosen the, the turbines yet. Uh, uh, however, they've said that since they started planning, they believe that they have vested rights and that whatever the, um, the Board of Supervisors may do with regard to zoning or ordinances associated with wind, um, they're suggesting that um, they have vested rights because they started planning already, and so those rules wouldn't apply. That's a completely separate topic, completely separate um, discussion and, and debate, if you will, uh, than what the Zoning Commission uh, has in front of us right now. But it is important to understand that that dynamic. Uh, at the same time, there's been over 500 people um, from the county that have petitioned the uh, Board of Supervisors to do something uh, to put some kind of ordinances in place that um, uh, provide siting guidelines, uh, uh, setback requirements, and, and things of that nature. Uh, right now, the situation in the county is that there are only three counties, or, or only three townships in the county that are zoned. That's Brookfield, Hartfield, Brookfield, Heartland, and Danville townships. Uh, so one quarter of the county is zoned. It's about 10% of the population, uh, and the rest of the county is not. In those zoned townships, any wind development, commercial wind development, has to well, any development uh, has to get a conditional use permit. <clears throat> There's no guidance in the zoning ordinance right now, though, with regard to siting considerations for those conditional use permits. So, um, the so that that's the situation in the county, and it's the zoning commission's responsibility to develop uh, zoning related language with regard to development in the county and provide those recommendations to the supervisors. So in light of the moratorium, uh, in light of where the, um, the, the worthwhile wind project is, they've not started construction yet other than a couple of bases that they, uh, a couple of concrete bases that they buried uh, in, in one of the townships last year so that they could claim the tax credit with the federal government. Um, and the fact that we've got this uh, huge uproar across the county uh, asking the supervisors to do something. Uh, I feel that uh, as a zoning commission, uh, it, it's pretty imperative that, that you know, we, we get together and we put our uh, best efforts forward to research the issues, uh, hear from people. Uh, we'll, I'd like to make certain that we hear from the Invenergy people, uh, as well as some of the county agencies and some others. Uh, hear from those folks, do our research on what other ordinances are out there across Iowa, and then put together our recommendations for the supervisors. I would like to get that stuff all accomplished sooner rather than later. Uh, I believe that if we're diligent at it, we can get it done by uh, June of this year uh, and then settle the question and, 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 and move on from there. Uh, it does require an aggressive schedule to do so. And so the timeline I sent out, uh, I was suggesting that we have weekly meetings uh, in order to accomplish this. And I laid out just a draft of, of what I thought we could accomplish through that series of weekly meetings. So that as background, um, does anybody have questions on what it is that we have set out in front of us and what the current situation is? Hey, Jeff, real quick here, yeah. just so we stay on task, I just want to see if I can get a motion and uh, a second for the approval of the agenda just to keep our paperwork. Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. We should have done that at, at the beginning. So everybody uh, hopefully saw the agenda that um, that I put out. Uh, so if you if you haven't seen it yet, it is on the Google Drive that I'd sent out. Uh, it was all the Chair, chair, review and agree on the meeting schedule, uh, and then identify next week's agenda and then adjourn. So, is there a motion to approve the agenda? 
Uh, David made a motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll second. Dana. And Dana second. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that uh, business taken care of. Um, what are people's thoughts then on the a, a weekly schedule without regard to the things that I had that I, I put on that draft? Um, does everybody think they could do a uh, weekly Wednesday evening meeting, zoning commission meeting? I'll try to keep most of them in a Zoom meetings, but um, I, I think there will be some that, that will be better where we get together in a room just because we'll have a lot of stuff to go over. Does anybody see any problems with weekly meetings? I think to meet the schedule, we're going to have to, in my opinion, um, to stay on task. Are we talking? Well, how many weeks are we talking, Jeff, to completion here? I'm only seeing five or six. Well, yeah. So if um, if if we use the draft schedule, the timeline that I had set out, and I, I think. I've actually done some work I can bring you up to speed on. I think we can maybe uh, even shorten that. Uh, but right now, this would carry us through um, the end of June, where we would provide our report of findings and recommendations to the Board of Supervisors uh, by the end of June, possibly sooner. Uh, but we do need to hold a couple of public meetings, uh, or at least one public meeting, uh, in advance of that. So weekly meetings through the end of June, anybody have any concerns with that? Jeff, as I stated to you that, you know, with planting, there might be a couple here in the near near term I might miss, but if I'm, I'm this is my first Zoom, so I don't even know if I'm doing it right, but uh, <laughs> um, I might be able to do it from a tractor too. Sure. Well, the audio um, you can do from anywhere with a with a cell phone. Uh, the only thing you miss is is the video. Um, and as I said, I, I think there there may be some opportunity for us to condense that time frame. Um, and so, as as we talk about that um, that weekly meeting schedule and and identifying next week's agenda, I guess I'd like to talk about those two things in context. Um, uh, well, I guess, first of all, we've agreed that we'll, we'll, we will go with the weekly Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. schedule. Um, uh, I, I don't think we need to vote on it. There's nobody had indicated that it's not going to work. So it's, that's, that's what we'll do. And I'll, I'll uh, publish agendas for those. Um, so with regard to identifying next week's agenda, the first thing that I thought we we should do is hear from some invited guests to get some background from people to to understand um, what's important to them, and and I don't want to um, open invited guests to just general public because we'll have a whole public hearing uh, specific for those kinds of things. So what I'd like to do is um, next week I could reach out to Invenergy and the Worth County Farm Bureau reps and, and see if we could get those two uh, to spend 20 minutes or so with us uh, during next week's meeting and give them an opportunity to um, uh, really tell us what they think is important for us to understand as we're considering these, uh, these ordinances. Um, the following week, I think it would be appropriate to hear from uh, 